Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. Welcome to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery, and it's a real pleasure to continue our series of programs about medical uh, practices and medical issues in the Permian Basin. We have uh, been meeting with a series of doctors from the Texas Tech University Health Science Center. Uh, and today we're going to reintroduce you to Dr. Bobby Jane, who is a psychiatrist and, and as you can see on the faculty head, uh, and regional chair of the Department of Psychiatry. Uh, and then also we're bringing on Dr. Stephanie Caples, and uh, she is uh, from the Department of Psychiatry and Family Community Medicine and is a psychologist. And because these um, uh, disciplines overlap somewhat in patient treatment, I wanted them to come on together. Dr. Uh, Jane gave us some excellent information last week, and we're going to ask him and St Stephanie to uh, c continue that uh, list of information that we started last week. And, and Stephanie, I'd like for you to just introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your background and how you came into this field. Well, sure, sure, thank you so much. Uh, once again, my name is Dr. Stephanie Caples and I'm a psychologist. I did all of my training from undergraduate through graduate at the University of Texas at Austin. I know that doesn't sit well out here in West Texas <laughs> with all okay. of the Texas yeah. Tech graders. Uh, but, but now you're home, so it's okay. But Tech pays my bills, <laughs> so it works. And it's, it's lovely to be out here. I've been out in West Texas for about two years now. And so it's really been a nice experience to, to be out here. I think I went into psychology. It was really a choice for me between psychiatry and medical school and psychology with graduate school. But I was so fascinated by the study of just simply human behavior and by how um, in employing certain behavioral techniques that we could really work to control our emotions, understand our emotions, and, and change our reactions to stressful situations. And so you, did you, after you made that decision, then you just went straight through. I went straight through. Okay. I good. definitely did. And you said that you had recently gotten married. I have gotten married. So um, my last name at Tech is changing to Moses, from Caples to Moses, and my husband will be happy to hear that I'm claiming his last name. <laughs> so. So if you call, you can still uh, call for an appointment. Uh, you can still get her by asking for cables, but they may tell you that her name has changed to Moses. That's right. And, and Dr. Jane, I want us to reiterate your background because you have been on now for two programs, but we might have some new viewers out there, so start from the beginning. Well, uh, let me start with Dr. Caples. I think that Texas Tech held her first paycheck until she would have a sworn epidemic <laughs> changing an alliance from UT to Red Raiders. Uh, they're trying. So, uh, so, so I'm Dr. Jane. I'm uh, the chair of, uh, regional chair of psychiatry at Texas Tech. And thank you, Johnny, for inviting me again and giving it an opportunity to talk to millions of your very popular program viewers. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, I'm a psychiatrist. And uh, the basic difference, me and um, Stephanie, mm -hmm. Dr. Caples, is that uh, we both are in the same field, but we come from a different point of view. Uh -huh. um, in being a psychiatrist, we have a more medical point of view. That means we deal more with medications. We write prescriptions. We go to medical school, get training, residency training. And depending on um, any subspecialty uh, you want to, for example, I'm a, I have a subspecialty in child psychiatry and psychosomatic medicine. So um, I do a, we do a separate training for that. It's called child fellowship training. Mm -hmm. So um, so it's a, just like coming from Dr. I was telling the Dr. Capel's uh, point of view and my point of view, we tend to look um, psychiatric, psychiatric problems more from the medical point of view. And Dr. Capel's um, look, mm -hmm. you agree with that? I do. Look f more from the behavior mm -hmm. and um, um, behavior point of view. Uh, similar problems. That doesn't mean one is better than the other. I think what is that one cannot work without the exactly. other. Uh -huh. And the best results uh, in mental health field particularly works best when we have a combination of interventions, mm -hmm. uh, both with medications and with counseling. So Dr. Caples uh, specializes her expertise in counseling, what we call talk therapy. Uh -huh. My expertise is in mostly medications. Mm -hmm. And as we see that most, and this is supported by various clinical research studies, that combination of the two is usually the best effective 
a way of intervention, any emotional problem that you can take up, be it depression, be it bipolar disorder with, it, uh, with kids with attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, or with behavior problems, or any of that, mm -hmm. any other sort. But, but now, am I understanding that you could access from either direction? I might think I have a problem or my child has a problem, so would I come to you first or would I go to her first? Or does it matter? Well, it, it does not matter. I think the most important thing is to get some help for uh, either child or adult person. Because That's you'll refer to each. If exactly. Right. If, you, exactly. if she has a patient that needs medication. Right. And right. Exactly. And, and exactly. the same right. way. Right. Yeah. I believe, and be, not only because we are in the same department and we are very well, we are colleagues, but also if we have um, someone in the community also, like a mm -hmm. therapist in the community, uh, we tend to refer patients back and forth. Uh, the point is to, depending on what the situation is, uh, the patient situation is, um, it can be both medication or therapy-wise. Right. And if you find that therapy is probably more effective, particularly in my case, uh, I tend to refer counsel to the counselor, Dr. Uh -huh. Staples, and uh, Caples. And Dr. Caples also, when she finds right. that medication be more effective, or medication is needed at this time, then she refers to mm -hmm. me. So it's back and forth. So there might be a, a a long period of treatment where the patient was actually seeing both of you. Oh, definitely. And that's almost the preferred method, mm -hmm. I think. Because I think what we do is initially when we first see a patient, we both know kind of the markers of what to look for. Mm -hmm. And even though my specialist is not medication, I can kind of gauge if the patient needs medication for the counseling to even be effective. And Dr. Jane can gauge whether the patient even needs to begin with medication or start with the counseling. Mm -hmm. So after we've determined that for me, either they need medication and counseling or him the other way around, we then ask the patient to stay with us for a certain period of time and our patients will be seeing both of us. Mm -hmm. They see me a lot more frequently because mm -hmm. the nature of therapy works a little better if the patient is coming weekly. With Dr. Jane, maybe initially what, after about four weeks or so? Right. Um, and then every couple of months after that, mm -hmm. after he stabilizes them with the medication. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about how insurance plays into this uh, after we take a break. But before we leave this subject, one of the things that you just said is that you work then with other psychologists and, and uh, psychiatrists within the area. Not, and we're not talking about just Middle and Odessa. We're talking about the whole Permian Basin and beyond. Right. Because there's so few of you right. out. So we're going to come back in just a minute and continue this conversation. We'll see you in just a second. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. <laughs> 